if you are, let's say, drinking mostly smoothies for your food and you're getting mushy stool and you're having like three bowel movements a day, that's not diarrhea. That's just pretty normal because of the type of food you're eating. Your smoothie's going in and your smoothie's coming out. I'm following a plant-based type of nourishment plan since September, but starting in November, I've had diarrhea and it's ongoing. Any suggestions? Okay, that's a long time. Um, so one, uh, and, and you didn't write this, but I want to tell you this so that you can clarify it for yourself. Uh, so for example, a lot of times people will call it diarrhea if they have mushy stool, but it's only diarrhea if it is liquid stool that is happening all day long and if you don't get to a bathroom, you're gonna have an accident. That's diarrhea. But if you are, let's say, drinking mostly smoothies for your food and you're getting mushy stool and you're having like three bowel movements a day, that's not diarrhea. That's just pretty normal because of the type of food you're eating. Your smoothie's going in and your smoothie's coming out, right? I mean, that's, you're not gonna make big hard stool out of mushy, uh, mushy green stuff, right? So, one of the things that bothers me is how there's this like somebody somewhere and I don't even know what their name was and it doesn't matter to me, created like a diagram of what perfect stool looks like. And it's like this, you know, little C and it has this consistency and stuff. And, and so people now want to compare themselves to everyone else to see, do I have perfect stool or not? And then they think they're sick if their stool is, is mushier than that. And, uh, and it's just not the case. It's just not the case. Uh, really, it doesn't matter what the consistency of the poop is. What matters is one, that it comes out because constipation is not your friend on this program. You don't want to overdose in nutrition and not go to the bathroom. That's a problem. That's a problem we have to urgently fix. But if it's coming out and it's controllable and it's mushy and it's happening a few times a day, that's just because you're, you're, you're getting a lot of water. Water comes, is, it goes through your colon. That's where you absorb it from, through the colon. So if you're having a lot of water and a lot of smoothie and it's mushy, that's totally fine. Uh, sometimes if people really are having diarrhea where it's like, yeah, I can't control this, then it might be that you're going too heavy on the uh, on the flax oil and maybe you're lubricating your colon too much. It could be that you're doing a bunch of chia pudding that's not blended and that gooiness is kind of working its way through there. That's usually the case. Sometimes it's anxiety that's causing it. But in general, you don't have to worry about it if it's coming out fine and it's mushy, it's okay. I actually just saw a GI doctor because I had to get my colonoscopy because I'm 46 and it's just time. I can't tell my patients to get colonoscopies or I'm not getting them. So even though I have no risk of cancer, I'm like, let's go. So I went and had my colonoscopy done and we had a fun chat. If those of you who saw my very excited post uh, <laughs> was that I went to the doctor and, uh, and he told me that I have the colon of a teenager. He was very impressed with my colon. He said, your diet's working for you. Just whatever you're doing, your colon looks the best I've ever seen. Like he was very, very happy. So what do you think about, you know, if someone's eating the way I eat and they have mushy stool? He goes, I don't care. I said, what if it's like shoelaces? No problem. He said, it doesn't really matter. It's like, ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> So it really isn't the case. What matters is what your stool made of. You could have the perfect C-shaped stool. And if you're eating burgers and fries, you're unhealthy. And you could have green mushy toothpaste coming out and you're reversing disease and you're healthy. So that would be the most important thing for you to worry, uh, to think about. And I, I went into detail because this one comes up a lot. People really are afraid of like their, their poops consistency and they call it diarrhea if it's not in that shape that they think is supposed to be ideal. So don't worry about that. Any of you are having that.